Right, next I'm going to show you the how to fit these. Okay, these are the um, the racks I've done. Should be a link in the video as well um, for Thingiverse. Let me just zoom out a bit. Okay, so hi yeah. <laughs> so um, I haven't actually tried these. I haven't actually fitted these on the wall. So um, what I'll do is I'll show you what I've done, um, and we'll fit them up a bit and see how they work. Because I haven't actually tried it yet. Um, so here we go. So something else I've done uh, for you that you might find useful is I've done you a, a drawing. Um, I've done a drawing, a template for you to use. Okay, it's a scale template. So as long as you put this out on A4 paper, yeah, um, don't scale it to fit it to paper. Make sure you scale it at 100%. Um, and then check it. You can either check it once it's printed, just and if, if you printed these already, yeah, just offer one of these up um, on the right side, and it should line up perfectly with the whole centers. Uh, other than that, what you could do is just check that I don't know, say 100 mil on the drawing measures 100 mil on the paper and then you know you're good. So um, all I'm going to do with this uh, basically is offer it up on where I want to put my my plates. Let me get some tape. Right I'm back. Okay so the, the first thing you want to do with your template is basically just I've got put some um, dashed lines to the top and bottom of the template um, and I've also put what I think is a sort of recommended uh, spacing for a maker bot um, size build plant um, and there are other spacings I've, I've, I've put little dial points to show you other spacings go up to 275 millimeters um, so basically once you decided where you want to put it on your wall um, grab some tape like I guess I haven't tried this yet so this will be a, a first for me I'll put it too high Ideally, what you'd probably do is get a level, make sure it's all level for you. Yeah, just pop your template on there, grab your drill, or I've just got a bulb one, yeah, um, to mark my holes through the centers. Oh, I'm hoping I'll just screw straight in. Another one there. Another one there. So obviously, if you're um, going to do a different um, spacing for your for your shelves, um, you can you can do that as well. And there's nothing stopping you if you're going. I don't know who's got really big build plates. Maybe Jack guy. <laughs> um, you just put another put another rack in, so you have three racks instead of just the two. Give you a bit more support. Um, and again, you can double these up if you want loads and loads. So right, um, we pop a screwdriver. If I find a screwdriver suitable and see if we can screw these in. Originally I had these um, the gussets uh, facing inwards so you wouldn't see them um, but I actually quite like them so I'm going to have them facing outwards. I think they look quite cool. So I'm not going to do all these out first aren't I? Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, that's a long size screwdriver. Stop this. Oh, perfect. So let's do it up. Right, um, there we go. That's the kids, we tell you. So I'm still one up. Just tap nicely. Don't expect you need to go too crazy. Um, so far, so good. I'm actually quite excited now. Like I say, I haven't actually tried this out yet. I'm waiting, waiting to do this video. It's so good being able to um, design this stuff and print it off so quickly. Uh, it's, uh, as an engineer. Or design or anyone really who's um, that way inclined. It's, it's like Christmas every day, especially when you leave it overnight and you come back in the morning and something 
like the Pixies have been. It's not working too well for me, is it? Spilled patty going it. Oh, I'll put it at the top. Perfect. Right. The other thing is, you, you can see the actual actually slope. Um, so the idea is that you can can get to them individually. How cool does that look? And they actually, they're not going to come out. They're actually pretty solid in there. So cool. Look at another one. This will be obviously you have another one in the bar on there. And this is the one that's just come out the machine, so you pretend this has just come out the machine. Uh, oh, it has to go up here. Too dry. And that's it. So, sorry, too dry, too cool. Um, zoom in on there for you. Okay, so there we have it on the wall. Um, as you can see, just grab your belt plate, pop it in when you're finished. Ready to go, ready to rock and roll. And uh, this one's purposely sat with it all the way back there. Um, so if you do have a print that comes all the way back, um, hopefully you have enough space um, to clear it on the back. That's why we don't have this part coming all the way forward. Um, you know, I purposely do it that way so it'll just cool. So once it's cooled, take it off. And then get your masterpiece off your bill plate. Fantastic. I'm really pleased with that. Okay. Right. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.